Hello, this is Steve Audette with Irradiated Software. I'm here to show you Cinch, which provides a fun and elegant solution for simple window management. To use Cinch, simply drag a window until your mouse hits the screen edge. The animation indicates where Cinch is going to place this window when you release it. Now the window is in the cinched position. When you drag it away, it will restore to its original size. You can do this with the left and the right side of your screen to give you split screen, or you can do it to the top to get full screen. As another example, here's how I use Cinch to easily position two finder windows side by side so I can drag files between them. Now if a window is not resizable, like this dialog here, you'll see a no resize indicator showing you the window cannot be cinched. I also want to demonstrate how Cinch works with multiple displays. I've hooked up a second display to the right of my primary. If you drag a window across the screen boundary, you'll notice that it doesn't activate Cinch. That's because there's nothing for the mouse to collide into. If you drag real slowly, you can still activate Cinch, but that's not ideal. Instead, go to your System Preferences, Displays, Arrangement tab, and skew your display slightly. That creates two lips that you can collide into and allowing Cinch to work. Let's see that in action. If you have spaces enabled, holding a window at the screen edge for a second will activate a space change. If this interferes with your using Cinch, be sure to check out the website for a tip on how you can change the delay. That's really all you need to know to use and enjoy Cinch. Thanks for watching.